the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. We uh, have been teaching on deliverance ministry and, and warfare, spiritual warfare, and we are going to continue in that train of thought. Uh, I know we left on high note last week. Uh, we was somewhat suspended. We were, we were on a high note in that we were talking about, we left off, I believe, we left off around somewhere around Ephesians chapter 6, and we was talking about how we have to have on the whole armor of God. Because we realize that we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Amen? Amen. 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 Y'all with me? Just give, yes. me yes. give me your attention. Give me your attention. And get on the train with me. Amen. This train will leave this nation real quick tonight. Okay. Amen. Amen. So we, we recognize that we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but we're fighting against some heavyweight spirits. Amen. 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 Principality's power. Amen. Cosmocrator, which mm -hmm. is the rulers. Mm -hmm. Amen. Of darkness. Mm -hmm. And we're wrestling with spiritual wickedness yes. in high places. Yes. Hello? Pomeria. Amen? Yes. Wickedness in high places. Yes. Amen? And that's why it's so important for us to make sure that we got on the whole panoply, the whole armor. Yes. Amen? Amen? The whole armor. Tell somebody, the whole armor. The, the whole, whole armor. armor. The whole armor. The whole armor. Amen? Amen. You you know, you you get dressed for work, you put on the whole uniform. That's right. Amen. 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 You go to the gym, you got on the armor. That's right. Amen. Because you're prepared for what you're getting ready to face. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And if we're getting ready to face do spiritual warfare and and, do, and face demonic uh, princi principalities and powers, we need to be fully dressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's <coughs> take you somewhere. Let, let's let's dive in. Let's let's dive in. Please uh, please silence all your digital devices in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 All right, let's let's get on. Let's get on. Let's look at something. So I gave you something uh, last week. I gave you Mark chapter 11, verse 20 to 21. You ain't got to go there. But I gave you that because throughout the scripture, Jesus went to the root of the problem. Amen. Amen. And, and, and that scripture in Mark had nothing to do with warfare. I was just grabbing an eternal truth. Is that oftentimes we're dealing with symptoms and we never get to the root. That's right. Amen. 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 But Jesus went straight to the root. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when he was dealing with stuff, he, 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 he went to the spiritual foundation. Because yeah. that's where the root of the problem is. Yes. Amen? Yes. And, and, and I, I brought out an analogy uh, last week that uh, we cannot take uh, Tylenol and Advil and ibuprofen and think we heal. That's right. Because we're not. Right. All we're doing is sedating yeah. ourselves to the sensitivity of the pain. Amen. Mm -hmm. The pain is still there. You just can't feel it. Right. Amen. 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 And that's not the saints' deliverance. Mm -hmm. Amen. That ain't the saints' deliverance. Mm -hmm. Let me take y'all somewhere real quick. I want to show you something. Um, let's go. Um, we're gonna we're gonna look at this story in a couple places, and then I'm gonna try to grab something and just go with me. Matthew chapter twelve. Matthew chapter twelve. The story is in a couple of places, but I'm just going to look at it in Matthew chapter 12. And what's beautiful is that when you want to get a really good insight on um, some of these stories in the Bible, you have to rightly divide the word. Amen. And the only way you can rightly divide the world is you got to look at how Matthew saw it, you got to look at how Mark saw it, mm -hmm. you got to look at how Luke saw it, and sometimes John will pick it up. Amen. I'm going to say this gingerly. John's gospel approaches things from a more divine and spiritual perspective than it does naturally. Mm -hmm. So sometimes John deletes stuff. Because John said that ain't really important. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all remember how all the other gospels started about the birth of Jesus? Mm -hmm. That the birth of Jesus was on this wise, and so and so begot so and so begot so and so begot so and so. And you know, Matthew, Mark, and Luke tell you all of that. And they go all the way back to lineage, and it's from a natural perspective. Mm -hmm. John busts out in the beginning was the word. And the word, yes, yes. The word was with God. Yes. The word was God. The same was in the beginning. Yes. John said, I ain't telling you about no cousins. I'm going to get to the root of it. Right, right. I'm going to tell you where it's at, all right? Boy, I felt the Holy Ghost when I said that. Amen. Amen. Um, let's go to Matthew chapter 12. Everybody get on the train. Um, and this story picks up where Jesus has cast a devil out of somebody. Mm -hmm. Right? And when he's cast the devil out of somebody, they called him the devil. Mm -hmm. They called him Beelzebub, mm -hmm. which is the prince of devils. Amen? Uh, one interpretation, uh, interpretation calls him the Lord of Flies. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. And you know the Bible also says that he's the prince of the power of the air. Yeah. And sometimes flies, they can't kill you, but they'll fester you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. While you try, I told you, while you try to swap one, you kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you done ran off the road, hit a pole, trying to kill a fly. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Tell somebody, don't, don't do that. Just don't let them know. I'm going to tell you, when God gave me that revelation that day, I was swatting, and I was about to tell my car, I'm, all, I'm talking about close to the curb, I'm about to hit poles, and I'm just swatting. Amen. The Lord said, son, let the window down. Some of y'all need to stop swinging at certain things you did with you. Let the window down. Amen. Because that's a form of fighting as well. Amen. You got to know when to swing and when not to. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all swing at everything. <laughs> Hello? Don't you know the rope of dope was a psychological warfare that Muhammad Ali used on people? And he'd get on the rope and he let them swing and they wear themselves out. And by the time they wear themselves out, then he come out and punch him. It don't take him long to knock you out. Some of us in the other he got knocked us out. He know we wearing ourselves out. Because we swinging at the wrong thing. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Matthew chapter 12. Let's get on the track here. All right? Verse 25. What does it say? 12 and 25. Y'all there? Come on. Y'all want to get in the word? Come on. Let's go. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, uh -huh. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Stop. Number one, you got to know something. The enemy is not divided. It said, and look at it, we, we got to clean something from this. Because it's going to go a little bit further. It says every kingdom, every basilea, every kingdom that is divided against itself is what? Brought to desolation. That's brought to what? Desolation. What does that mean? Destroyed. It's destruction. It's annihilated. It's destroyed. And then what else does it say? Come on. In every city or house. Hold on. In every city or house. It could be a kingdom. It could be a city. It could be a house. If it's divided, it ain't going to stand. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. And he bringing this out to a point. He trying to teach them something because they called him Beelzebub. They said he been catching out devils by Beelzebub. Right? And so Jesus says to them, hold on. Satan's kingdom is not divided. And read. So, uh, every, 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 every kingdom, every house, every city, what else does it say? Divided against Okay, come on. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. Y'all catch that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now let me tell you something. If Satan cast out Satan, he's divided against right. himself. But we said the other day and last week that sometimes Satan transforms himself into an angel of light. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Yes. And he puts on a show. Yes. Yes. And if you ain't spiritual, yes. he'll yes. trick you. Right. He ain't divided, but he's mm -hmm. putting on, remember we said put on the whole armor that you may be able to stand against the wilds. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes some of his wiles is to put on a white suit and don't pre pre present himself as a guy. Amen. And if you ain't got discernment, you ain't on your game, you That's ain't right. spiritual, That's you right. can't tell that this is really the devil That's working. Right. That's right. Talk to Hello? And he'll put on a little show and a little act just to get you to submit. Mm -hmm. Hello? So, what else does the verse say? Next part. And if I be by devils, cast out devils. By whom do your children? Hold on, hold on. You know Jesus is throwing a rock at him right now. Jesus is throwing stuff to him right now. He said, oh, y'all call me Beelzebub. So if I'm casting them out by Beelzebub, who y'all doing it by? Who your children doing it by? He's talking about four children. Y'all don't really catch that Jesus is throwing some stones right here. I don't want to get stuck there. Come on, what does it say? Therefore, they shall be your judges. Okay, come on. But catch this. The old hold. No, 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 don't go so fast. I want y'all to slow down. If I cast out devils by what? The spirit of God. Then the kingdom of God is coming to you. The only way you gonna be able to have spiritual victory and be able to have dominion over the devil, it is gonna be by the anointing, by the Holy Ghost, and by the presence of God. Amen. I want you to document that. Yes. I want you to document that. You better not go messing with some stuff and you ain't got the spirit of God mm -hmm. and you ain't ready for it. Amen. Hello? Because the only way, and we're going to get to that later, it ain't going to be denied. Because don't you know uh, uh, spirits, demons recognize power? Mm -hmm. They recognize when it's on you. They recognize when you got it. They know when you don't. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't want to jump the fence. All right. So by the, he said, if I cast out devils by the, uh, uh, with the finger by the spirit of God, right? And what else does he say? Then the kingdom of God is coming to you. Did you catch this? So when you take authority over the, the over the enemy by the spirit of God, you literally bring the kingdom, the basilea. You bring the realm where yes. God is in control. Yes. Did you catch what I just yes. said? Yes. And that's what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Everywhere we are, we want to bring that realm, that, that sense that God has a divine that's authority. Right. Amen. 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 Y'all stick with me, don't sleep. Don't Amen. sleep. We're going we gonna to go there. Come on, what else does it say? Or else, how can one enter into a strong man? Oh, now he takes it a little bit further. Mm -hmm. How can one enter into what? A strong man's house. Who's the strong man? The devil. So Everybody agree? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it, it's true. The strong man is the devil, but we, we got to document this. How can one enter into a strong man's house and do what? Strong is good. That means take possession. Mm -hmm. right. Take ownership. Hello? Mm -hmm. As long as you're strong, the enemy can't just come in your house. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hello? Amen. Amen. Now let me keep you contextual. And you better be strong when you go to his house. That's right. Amen. Because you got to be stronger than him. Yes. Yes. Hello? Amen. The Bible says, greater is he that's in me than in the world. Greater is he that's in me. I'm going to ask you a rhetorical question. It's the greater one in you. Mm -hmm. That means you ain't got to answer. But you will answer. Mm -hmm. Hello? Amen. So, so, what else does he say? How can one enter into a strong man's house? What else? And, and take his goods, what? Except he first bind the strong man. Except he first bind. Come on, y'all. Wake up. Yeah. How are you going to bind the strong man? What does it mean to bind the strong man? Subdue. Overtake. Overtake. Mm -hmm. And that word is there. We're going we gonna to talk about that. That's the word overtake. It's Nicolo. Got some Nikes on me, anybody? I do. Okay, put your foot up. Yeah. <laughs> so on your feet, you saying I got victory. 
Amen. You said I'm overcome. Amen. The call, because that's what that word is. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. You cannot go into a strong man's house unless you're stronger than him. What else does it say? And then he will fall in his house. And then you can take his house. <coughs> so, so, so. Let me take you somewhere else. It's the same story. It's the same story. What verse was that? That was verse 29. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me take you somewhere. Uh, let's look at Luke 11. Keep your finger, keep your finger, put a string or, or a decoration, <laughs> put something in Matthew 12 because we're coming back there because I'm going to show you a dangerous thing that we sometimes churches do. Uh, go to Luke 11. So we said we was going to put on the whole armor. Right? Mm -hmm. Luke 11. Let's look at 20. Uh, I think it's 22. Y'all there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does it say? But when wait, 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 wait. Hold. <laughs> 21. Okay. When a strong man armed with his place. Because you got to understand. The enemy ain't just gonna let you come in. Mm -hmm. He armed. Mm -hmm. Which means that he got weapons. Mm -hmm. He got things that he's gonna use to fight you back with. Mm -hmm. So when he's armed, what happens? His goods are in peace. His goods are in peace. He chilling. He ain't worried about nothing. Why? Because he armed. But, no, but nobody better not come at their front door talking about you come, come on in. <laughs> Listen, somebody come to your house and you armed and you talking about and they talking about you okay, go. You know what? Step across the threshold That's and see it. what happens. That's it. I can't shoot you on the front porch. My drag you in. <laughs> Some of y'all say. You hear what she said? She gonna shoot you up on board and drag you in. It's the law. It's the law. It's the law. Y'all say you know the law. So you know Did you catch that? You technically can't shoot him on the porch, Jim. But you know what? Ah. Uh, his, he's armed. Everything is cool. What's the next verse say? But when a stronger than he shall succumb to him and overcome him. And overcome him. The cow. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. What happens? He taken away all his armor. Hold it. He taken away all his armor wherein he trusted. So when you talk about warfare, you have got to learn how to disarm the enemy. Mm -hmm. yes. You got to learn how to take his stuff away. Mm -hmm. Disarm the enemy means sometimes you got to dry up the right that he has to be in the place. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the enemy got a right to do stuff. Because we done open doors. Yes. Amen. Yes. Right. Sometimes Amen. the enemy got a right yes. to be where he at. Because we done let him in. Yes. Amen. You remember when David sinned and, and murdered the people? The, the, the prophet told him, you have given the enemies a reason to blaspheme the name of the Lord. Mm, Jesus. Which means that he opened the door and gave the enemy a right to disregard God. Yeah. Because of his own actions. Yeah. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes the devil, sometimes the devil, he's stronger than people and he takes over. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because they're not armed and they're not ready to fight. Yeah. And he comes in and he takes with what does he take? Their joy, their peace, their yeah. hope, their yeah. they yeah. life. He takes everything yeah. they have. He yeah. takes whatever he can. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Right. And you know what? When he takes it, as long as he armed, he can keep it. That's right. hey. Or somebody bad than him yes, got caught. Yes, somebody yes, stronger than him yes, got caught. Yes, Hello? Amen. Hello? And we got to stop singing about how much power we got and yes, start yes, working in how much power yes, we got. Yes, I ain't scared of him. Yes, Hello? I ain't scared of him. Yes, and, it, and, and guess what? The times I was scared, God gave me courage. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Because courage, amen, amen. Let me say something. Courage is not the absence of fear. Mm -hmm. Courage is the strength to overcome fear. Yeah. Yeah. And to move forward when you got to. Some of y'all got to. Some of y'all got to. Yeah. Some of y'all got to. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Wake up. Come on. Stay with me in Jesus' name. So, he says, he has to dishonor me. How you going to dishonor me? With the word. We have weapons. That's right. One of the most powerful weapons is the word. The word. Yeah. For the word of God is quick and powerful and yeah. sharper yeah. than any two-edged sword, piercing the body in the sun. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't catching that. Mm -hmm. Really quick, let me let me let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. That's Hebrews. Somebody get it. Uh, uh Sister Bell, come on real quick, real quick. Hebrews 4 and 12. Because look, when you start doing warfare, mm -hmm. you got to use the word. Yes. I know, I know we're going to plead the blood. The blood is only one weapon. Mm -hmm. That's it. His name is only one weapon. Mm -hmm. That's it. But can I tell you, the Bible says that he has exalted his word above his name. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I wish I had somebody here. Yes, yes. Oh, I wish I had somebody here. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gonna get to it. We gonna get to it. <laughs> but you gotta be able to use the word. Yeah. What does Hebrews four and twelve say, baby? The word is quick. For the word of God is quick and powerful. Hold on, that word "quick" is "zaro torero" in Greek. Mm -hmm. It means it's live, it's active, it's mm -hmm. moving, it's quick mm -hmm. and powerful. And what else? Mm -hmm. It cut going in and coming out. Amen. Amen. You know, a two edged sword is dangerous. Yes. And you better learn how to use your two edged sword because yes. you cut yourself. Yes. Okay. That's true. Yes. Hello? Anybody know how to use a straight razor? That's right. Hello? You bleed. Hello? Hello? The word is quick and powerful. Sharper than a two-edged sword because it has to be sharp. Listen to this: because if you are going to use the word as a scalpel, mm -hmm. notice this: the Bible says that a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, right. or the tomato, which means to be able to make a straight cut with the word. If you're going to be able to make a straight cut with the word, you got to get to the point where you study your word to the degree that you become precision in the cuts yeah. that you make. Yeah. Because when you are doing warfare, let's be real, you are doing surgery spiritually. You're trying to make a cut to deliver somebody from what has them bound. And you're not trying to just cut them open so they bleed to death. You're making a precise cut so you go in and do what you need to do and you only got to sew a little bit of it. Amen. 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 Listen to this. Quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Does, what does it do? Look at how precise this word is. Mm -hmm. What does it do? Piercing. Did you catch that? Mm -hmm. Piercing. Mm -hmm. To the dividing apart. Mm -hmm. Asunder of what? Soul. Soul. Oh, do you know some issues of souls and some issues yes, of spirit? Right. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Hello? Mm -hmm. yeah. Did y'all catch that? Yes. But the only thing that can cut it and divide it like that is the word. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Some stuff is spiritual, some stuff is soulish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. And most of the time, the spiritual stuff animates or either agitates the soul. Mm -hmm. okay. Did y'all catch that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello? Because yeah. the spirit of God is living in my soul. Amen? Amen? And y'all know, I don't know if you do know, but our church believes in trichotomy. That is the three dimensions of your person. That's it. Amen? Your body, your soul, and your spirit. Some people only believe in dichotomy, but I'm like the Apostle Paul. He, he prays that we will be preserved to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, yes. body, soul, and spirit. Yes, that's yes. what he said. Amen? Mm -hmm. What else? Put your body in a, come on. Soul and spirit. And of the joints and marrow. Look at this. Oh, he know how to break it down between the joint and the marrow. 
You know the junk tomorrow is what's in between the junk. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, when you be going to the doctor, you want them to get down in between the junk tomorrow. Find out what's going on. That's right. Amen? Mm -hmm. All right, what else? And it's the Did you see this? Hold on. This is all talking about the word. Yes, yes. yes. It's a designer. Hello? Mm -hmm. Remember when we were talking about foresight and insight? Mm -hmm. This is in designer relates more to insight. Mm -hmm. It's a designer of what? Mm -hmm. The thoughts mm -hmm. and the intent. And the intent. That's right. That's right. You see how the word That's can get right. down the stuff? Yeah. Sometimes you try to hide and that word. Any of y'all yeah. ever been trying to cover it up yeah. and the word just the word got to you? Yeah. Any of y'all yeah. ever been trying to sit there cool and the word? I'm talking about the word, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, yes. Lord. The word got to you. Yes. You said I ain't gonna cry, but I ain't gonna shout. You said I ain't gonna be, and you the main one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The word got to you. The word got to you. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And you need to keep cutting till you get to. That's right. <laughs> you need to keep cutting till you hit them all. That's right. That's right. And I'm gonna tell you something. When you get to the spiritual warfare and you get down to the root, that spirit gonna yeah. hold. Yeah. That spirit gonna let you know you, you know. And, and can I say this? Can I say this? You go to a mansion, and these people have servants, right? They know. First of all, first of all, let me do this right. You can't even get in the subdivision. No. <laughs> there you go. It's a gatekeeper. Is that the truth? Man. You can't just whip up in there. When you pull up to the gate, if you ain't got the thing on the front of your car, I got a lot of customers living in Governor's Club. They got a little white silver thing. It's on the it's on the driver's side of the of the headlight. They pull up to the shack, that thing read the gate, it opened the gate, you can come on in. If you ain't got that thing in there, like, what are you doing here? Unless you're trying to tailgate. You can't even tailgate. You can't do that. You can't do that. Because the guard is still at the gate. Right? You be on the list. You see where she's from. Stay with me now. Say, I'm on this. Side. But look at this. The, the point I'm making the first spirit that comes to the door ain't the spirit that's keeping the house. That's right. That's right. That's, right. that's good. Did that's you catch good. that? That's good. Mm -hmm. The person who's running the house ain't the one answering the door. Mm -hmm. Hello? That's good. The one that's running the house. He yeah, on. He's yeah. sitting back. <laughs> and they calling him. Mm -hmm. Mr. Porter, there is someone here that want, they say they want to come see you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Porter back in the house. He talking to the people at the gate. Mm -hmm. Tell him I ain't home. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, Mr. Porter's not available now. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. You got to turn around and leave. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's what that demon do. He'll play them kind of games with you. That's it. That's, that's it. what he does. That's it. He'll yeah. hide and act like he ain't home. Yeah. But you gotta have discernment. Yeah. You gotta be more powerful yeah. than he is. Yeah. You gotta have him for him. You gotta discern. Mm -hmm. So you get past the gate. Mm -hmm. Then you come to the house. Mm -hmm. When you get to the house, the one who opened the door still ain't the man. Y'all better catch him. That's, right. That's right. He still ain't the one running the house. Right. He's the butler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did that make sense? Amen. Sometimes you got to fight to get through layers. And every time you get through a layer, it's a form of disarmament. Yeah. 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 Every time you get through one gate, it's a form of disarmament. Every time you pass the butler, mm -hmm. it's a form of disarmament. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And can I tell you this? Mm -hmm. When you start doing warfare like that, you are not there to eat tea and crumpets. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
Mm-hmm. Even though they offering you tea and crumpets, uh, right now I ain't hungry. Right. Amen. That's right. What I'm hungry for is something totally different. Right. Because yes. sometimes hungry is nothing but a strategy to delay that's right. that's you. Right. That's, right. that's right. That's right. Yes, yeah. that's good. Mm. And you just sitting up eating. Oh, this house is nice. Don't worry about, Don't worry about that. That's right. Can y'all give me a, a little bit? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, y'all always say that. <laughs> so you gotta. Disarm him. I got to disarm him by the word of God. Mm-hmm. I got to have on the whole armor because if I don't, I'm messing with a dangerous thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you got to have on the whole armor because guess what? Once you get past the gatekeeper and the butler and you get in the house, you try to find where the strong room That's is right. at. That's right. That's right. And when you get ready to get to the strong room, don't you know every movie you ever seen with the strong room, they got cameras? Mm-hmm. And, and, and you ever seen every movie with the strong room? They watching you. He's coming up the steps now. Mm-hmm. And they start getting prepared. What are they getting for? They getting their gun out. They getting their born arrow out. They getting their hatchet out. It don't matter. It don't matter what error it is. They getting right. prepared because when you come, they gonna start shooting at you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. This takes me back to us having on the whole armor. Mm-hmm. Amen. Ephesians. Don't go. I'm just gonna give it to you. Notice it says, put on the whole armor mm-hmm. that you might be able. To quench. Mm-hmm. Ain't that what it's saying? Mm-hmm. The fiery dog. Mm-hmm. Quench the fiery dog. Because mm-hmm. the enemy is going to shoot when you start That's disarming it. him. That's it. That's it. He's going to quench. He's going to shoot at you. Fiery dogs. He's going to shoot stuff that's, uh, that's out to kill you. Yes. That's out yes. to take you out. Yes. yes. And you got to have on the whole armor. Yes. And it says above all. The shield yes. of faith. Yes. Yes. Hello? Yes. Notice this. Even in this setting, the shield of faith takes more precedence than the word does. Mm-hmm. Did y'all catch yeah. that? Because yeah. he said above all, above all, the shield of faith. Mm-hmm. At this point, he didn't say the word. The word, you're going to use the word, but sometimes you're going to have to stand there and block for yes. a minute. Yes. And, and he said this. Quench. The Greek word for quench is spin on my. Mm-hmm. Which means to extinguish, mm-hmm. to be able to put out. Mm-hmm. Hello? That's right. Because I don't want the devil shooting and it stay on fire. I want him to shoot and when it hit my shield, it yeah. go out. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because yeah. if it don't go out, it's going to burn everything around. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. And that's a form of distraction. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good God. Yeah. That's good. So you got to put on the whole armor. And you, above all, you got to have a shield of faith. So, so you can quench what the enemy shoots at you. Mm-hmm. Anybody ever had the enemy shoot some stuff at you? Yes, yes, yes. Be, be honest with me. Yes, yes, yes. You ever had him shoot some stuff in your mind and you had to quench yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. You ever had, him, ever had him shoot some stuff in your yes, relationship yes, and you had to quench yes, it? Yes, yes. Hello? Amen. Are am I telling the truth? Yes. Amen. Yes, ma'am, Ms. Bell. Hold Hold on. When you were saying that, um, go back to Matthew chapter 12, y'all. You pull up to a home and you get caught up with what you see. And you were talking about eating crumpets and things like that, but you were really basking in the beauty of the home. And I was thinking about how important it is to look beyond. I was trying to bring it to a, a different dimension of it, but what I was thinking was. was you have to have a serious sense of discernment because sometimes if you bring it home to an individual, sometimes we could get it so caught up in the individual. The beauty of the house. The beauty mm-hmm. of their the person look all right. Their mm-hmm. vessel. Right. You mm-hmm. might get caught up with that and don't and don't discern where they're at. And we're just at the gate, but they got some deep things that are going on mm-hmm. on the inside and right. going on that need to be delivered. So discernment kicks in to let you know what lay, what what layer are you at, basically. Because mm-hmm. there are different layers. Mm-hmm. It's, it's layers. There are different layers. And some notice that the Bible said we wrestle. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Sometimes it's a struggle. The yeah. Greek word for wrestle is pale, P A L E. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't wrestle from a distance. That's right. You got to have contact mm -hmm. to wrestle. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. So think about that. Think about that. Let me hit one more scripture uh, uh, back in Matthew because I want to show you something. Is anybody getting anything out of this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This ain't got enough time. That's all. This ain't got enough time. Okay. So now. We think we're doing good. Mm -hmm. We got on a whole armor. Mm -hmm. We got on, uh, we got the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Mm -hmm. We know how to use it. We swing it. We cut and stuff up. Okay. We got our shield of faith because we quench the stuff. Mm -hmm. We quench the stuff. We knock the stuff out. But now that you've disarmed the enemy, and you've taken possession of that house, which is that soul. Mm -hmm. It ain't good enough to leave that soul in that state. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So let me share something with you because I don't want to kick the devil out and not invite God in. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Amen? Amen. So go to Matthew chapter 12. I just want to show you this and I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to show you this and I'm going to get out of here. Matthew chapter 12. Uh, let, me, let, me, uh, let me go back. And well, let's pick up verse 43. Uh, look at this. So, so Jesus has uh, given them insight. Now look at this. And Jesus shared something with When I read this some years ago, I said, oh my God, we've been doing the wrong thing. So let's look at uh, 43, 12 and 43. What does it say? When the unclean spirit is gone, out of the land. So you see this, right? You done disarm the, the, disarm the enemy. You done cast the spirit out. You think you're doing well. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, what does he do? He walking through the dry places. The enemy don't never find rest. Every time we hear him, where you going to and fro? Where you been? Walking to and fro. What you doing? Walking to and fro as it was. A roaring lion seeking who I might devour. So he's walking, dry places. He don't seek, he's seeking rest. He don't find none. Listen to what the devil says though. 44, what does he say? Then he said, I will return to my house from whence I came. He said, I'm going back where they put me off from. Notice that he said that. <laughs> and what else? And when he comes, he finds it empty. Hold on, hold on. He said, I'm going back to my house. And from whence I came out. Yeah. And when he comes, what does he do? He finds it empty, it. swept, and garnished. What does that mean? It's cleaned up, set up, yeah. ready for yeah. someone to come back in. Come party. Empty. <laughs> <laughs> so he's figured out the new squatter stuff is empty. <laughs> it's swept. It's clean. But you know the dangerous part is church people good at is garnish. Y'all know how y'all go to a nice restaurant. What do they got on the side? Garnish. You don't really eat the garnish. The garnish just make it look good. Yeah, you know how they put garden, they put twisted linen or, you know, some uh, whole stock of parsley, mm -hmm. you know, or they might make a little smiley face and put yeah. some pepper on top of it. It's garbage. It look good. Yeah. Church folk blessed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're garbage. Mm -hmm. The house is empty. Mm -hmm. The house is swept. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you started one part, but you didn't do the second part. Yeah. What does the scripture say? Then go a key and take it with him. Look! He get to call us some of the crew now. Yo, yo, homeboys! This crib empty. And it's clean. But look, 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 the danger is. The danger is this. The person was better off if you would have let him just stay there and not bother him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. now you done agitated him. He calling his other boys and he coming back with vengeance. Mm -hmm. Guess what? The people he bring with him is better than him. Yeah, Jesus. 
And then what your Bible say? Amen. Look what it said. Read it. Come on. We're going to go. And they enter and dwell therein. Seven spirits more wicked than himself. Oh, Did you see that? Oh, yes. He gets seven homeboys more wicked than him. Jesus. And, and, and they enter in. Mm -hmm. Right? Because, mm -hmm. see, I'm going to tell y'all something. As we start to do warfare, as we start to pray for people, I just don't want them to be clean. I want to invite God to come yes, in. Amen. Yes. So when the enemy come back, somebody catch him at the gate. That's right. That's Amen. right. He's right. a new gatekeeper. That's right. Amen. Amen. Y'all ain't saying that. Amen. Amen. We don't want to just come Amen. in and people don't get the full experience. That's right. If we're going to do warfare, Amen. if we're going to do deliverance, Amen. 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 So he takes seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and what else? And they come and, and dwell you? there. Mm -hmm. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Did you catch that? Yeah. The last state is worse than the first. Mm -hmm. Because if you ain't going to feel uh, uh, invite the Holy Ghost in, if you ain't going to work with them to be filled, leave them alone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Think about this. They got a substance abuse spirit. Mm -hmm. And you do what you do. You get past some gates. You get some victories. But you don't get them filled. When he come back, he bring the substance. Mm -hmm. He bring, I mean, he bring, imagine the things that he's bringing yeah. back. They said they're worse than him. They're, they're worse than him. And I don't want to do nobody like that. Amen. Hello? Amen. You know, even over in the book of Matthew, uh, it says the Pharisees that they shut up heaven. Yeah. And they stopped folks from going in in Matthew 23. Right? Uh, but when they convert people, which means when they make them a proselyte, they said they go out of the way to make them a proselyte, which means that they go out of their way to convert them. They said, but when they convert them, they too fall more than child of hell. Yes. Yes. You more messed up than you were when the church folks start messing with you. Amen. Amen. So, bear with me. We're going to get there. I'm going to pick up next week. Amen. I love you. Any, any final questions around the room, real quick? Final questions, comments, interjections? Question. Yeah. How do you, um, how do you increase your discernment? Only way you're going to do that is through prayer and fasting. Yes. That's totally spiritual. Yes. That's totally spiritual. Yes. That's the, and, and guess what? I'm saying that for you to pray and to fast because praying and fasting afflicts your soul causes you to become more sensitive mm -hmm. to the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Uh, but if God don't give you discernment, you can fast all you want to. Right. God has to. We notice that Jesus said that I do it by the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's got to be by the spirit of God. But one way to increase your discernment uh, is praying, is fasting, and even worship, but that, that always works. But you know what else? Shutting up. Come on, you say. Come on, mm -hmm. being quiet. Being quiet, listen. Because mm -hmm. sometimes when God's speaking, you ain't mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Sometimes when God's showing you in, that's why when people come up and, 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 and they prophesy, man, don't fall out till he pro finish prophesying. Right. Over. Right. You need to hear what he's saying. Right. Oh, bless me, Lord. <laughs> he's going to bless you because you heard. Right. That's right. Hello? So, God bless you. Any, anyone else? Real quick, real quick, real quick. All right, God bless you. Heaven's power upon you. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Take this word for what it is in Jesus' name. You know what? I could probably teach this for the rest of the year. That's how many layers is to it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of layers to it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick it up next week in Jesus' name, and we're going to get practical. Let me say something to y'all. Where we're getting ready to go, we're going to have to spend some extra time in prayer. Okay. Where we're getting ready to go, we're going to have to spend some extra time in church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. okay. Amen. Because if we come up and we have a prayer line and we get through the gate and we get past the gatekeeper, so and so and so, we need to take them in the prayer room and let them get filled. Amen. 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 And we can't always be time oriented and in a, in a, in a rush Amen. trying to get out of here because you got to give God time to do His work. Amen. Amen. And, and God ain't going to do it on your schedule. 
Amen. He ain't going to do it on my schedule. Amen. How many of y'all got the Holy Ghost after church? Y'all ain't saying that. Yes. Hello? After church. Amen. Because somebody stayed with you and prayed with you. Yes. Amen. We got to get to the place that sometimes we're willing to miss church so somebody can get a breakthrough. Amen. Hello? I got I got the Holy Ghost. Amen. Four church started. Amen. I got the Holy Ghost while church was going on. Amen. Amen. They took me in the prayer room. They was willing to work with me. They was willing to cry out. And they weren't worried about time. They was worried about God. Amen. 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 So we got to make sure that we don't miss that. Because oftentimes we want to set the platform. We want God to move. But then we time to go. Don't y'all know God is on absolute time? Amen. We on relative time. Amen. And God don't move in our time. He moves in his time. And even when we adjust the clock, they like say the time. Time didn't move you did. Amen. 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 So Amen. take that for what it's worth, huh? I said also truth surveillance. That's true. True. Truth. 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 Guess what? Uh, a broken heart and a contract spirit, God ain't gonna turn uh, turn away. Mm -hmm. Hello? Amen. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost, I'm, I'm just going to say this to you. You're in a good place because we're going to set the platform for you to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And we ain't going to teach you how to speak in tongue. Ta ta Moshe. No. Hello? The Spirit of God will have to give you utterance. Amen. And you need it. You need it more than you think you need it. Amen. That's the, I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you. Right? This is a grim, this is a grim hit in the face. The Bible said, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is not he is not here. That's fine. That's, That's fine. word. Yeah. You can wiggle, get upset, try to uh, do whatever you want to. But if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he's none of his. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to set the platform and teach. And preach about the Holy Ghost because that's the the church is dying because the Holy Ghost ain't being poured out. Mm -hmm. The church is dying because the Holy Ghost can't move. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The Holy Ghost get to moving in some churches. Oh, we don't do that here. That's why y'all ain't doing nothing else. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I love you. God bless you. Heaven's on the point. Stand up, amen. I know I always run over in Jesus' name. Amen. Can y'all do me a favor? Can y'all do me a favor? Can y'all do me a favor? I'm asking y'all. Can y'all start telling me on Sunday when I'm getting on y'all to earth? Just start telling me, Pastor, this is it. I mean, which part? Are you talking about the joke part? Jokes are that, you know, I'm funny. I don't know. I ain't going to stop being funny. That's just who I am. Well, then you're not getting on me. Stand up.